Oh, come on! Oop. Hello, everyone. I am Tessellating Hexagons, back off hiatus at last. Well, I mean, I've not technically been on hiatus. I've just not been making gaming videos for a while because Eurovision, and I'm still kind of feeling the burn from that. Like, literally, I'm kind of burned out from Eurovision for a while, but uh, that means I'm back into gaming. And I actually do have something recorded with Yukiola 5, but I'm still not sure whether I'll actually release that because the quality of it was kind of eh. Like, our, our commentary didn't really flow, um, I was really tired, and when you're tired you kind of act drunk, so... I made you like a highlights reel of it, but we may end up re-recording it, I don't know. Anyway, this is a version, this is OMG filler. Um, uh, this game has, I think, seven or eight levels, and I'll do one episode on each level, I suppose. And we'll, we'll just begin with World 1, this is gonna be a, a short one, because filler. Anyway, uh, this is the, the bright and colourful World of Eversion. Um, we're playing as this chap here. His name is ZT, but it's spelt Z E E T E E. I'm not giving in to the bloody Americans. But a very Mario esque opening. It's a nice little colourful world. Little off brand Goombas. And I kind of just ran straight into one. Uh, fortunately, this game is quite forgiving. Well, yeah, it's, it's quite a forgiving game, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's bright, colourful. And, the, like, its name is a bit unusual because Eversion, no one's ever heard of that term. Like, people will think, oh, you mean Inversion, or... No. Well, I'm actually going to stop for a moment to explain. Uh, if, if something is the reverse of something, then it's the same thing but backwards. If something's the inverse of something, it's the thing but upside down. The Iverse of something is inside out, and that's what you do with this game. You can find little areas like this that, um, clearly, you know, you can tell there's something a bit up with them, but... I'll, I'll come back to that in a moment, but... Kind of, that's, that's the gimmick of this game, that you can evert. Because, the, the, like, the, you know, the, the verb is not iverse. Like, like iverse is the noun, evert is the verb. You know, like, like, invert. And how curious, like, there are these clouds that are clearly supposed to be platforms, but we can't jump on them. So, uh, but there's the end of the level. I could end the level right here and now, but we've still got four more gems to get, because, of course, it wouldn't be a platform game that involves collection without involving collection, because that's a brilliant way, like... ZT. ZT. You're drunk. But yeah, this, this is a really good game, and I do recommend it. I'm not sure how I managed to break that block, because it's acting like... It still thinks there's a block there! That's so cute! Uh, anyway, th th this patch here. If we come down here and press the Evert button, well, we've turned the world inside out. Everything looks a little bit different. Um, the clouds are solid. That's kind of the, the main draw of this world. And music's a bit different, a little bit more calm, a little less garish and in your face. And... It's, it's, it's nice. So, as you can see in the top right corner, we're in World 1-2, but like that doesn't mean what it would mean in, in your standard Mario game. Like, World 1-1, one, one, World 1-2, like, they're both level 1. It's just, we're in the second world version of World 1. So, you know, we've inverted, we're one layer deeper. And I fell out of the world. I'm brilliant at this game! And we're back in Saccharintopia. So, yeah, you kind of get an idea for this game, is... You, you could turn the world inside out, and that's... Like, things change. Like, you can see, the Goombas, I, I believe, move a little bit more slowly. Obviously, the clouds are solid, whereas they weren't in World 1, or, you know, the first layer. I think, yeah, because that cloud's solid, we can't actually go that way, so we're gonna have to return to World 1-1, one, one, the world of saccharin and bright colours, and... and just go through, because in World 1... Well, it... it, it in, yeah, World 1, that's the best way of putting it. The clouds aren't solid, so you can just jump straight through them. We can get to the end and finish this level and finish this episode after only four minutes. Wow. But I will say, and I've got to keep talking, even though, you know, just pass that flag, get to the end of the level, that, that's it. We'll then move on to World 2-1, and that's kind of, that's how this game works. But I'm going to go back to the title screen. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the first level of this game. I intend to play through the whole thing. Uh, the, the platforming does get rather tricky later down the line. Um... Now, I will include, in the opening part of this video, uh, this game was being really schizophrenic about where the actual game was, because I, as you can see, I'm playing the version from Steam. And I, I tried to set it up so that I could start recording from, like, I could start recording and then open the game. And it opened it in about three different spots on, on my on my screen, like, one after the other. So I, I put the screen capture in one place, the game appears in somewhere else. So I move it to accommodate that, then close the game, start recording, open it again, and it's somewhere else, like... <laughs> but I got it to work in the end, 
so I'll just leave in my reaction to it being that way in the intro of this video, and well, after five minutes, I will say my outro, so I have been a book to be tessellating hexagons, and I'll see you in the next part of the version, because this will be a very short LP, but yay, filler, see you in the next one.